ברוך אתו אדון שם אלוקינו מלך Anyways, this is a song, uh, it's a blessing that we make um, for anything that we eat, other than, uh, well, let's put what we, not what we don't eat, let's figure out what we do eat. So it's a bl blessing we make for cake, any of the five species of cake, of, of, of grain, wheat, barley, spelt, oaks, and rye. So anything that's made from that, that's not bread, uh, under, going under cake, even fried chicken, something that has that. Alamilki would be the blessing we'd make. Someone has wine. Again, wine is a very special beverage. It's the only beverage that has its only beginning blessing and after blessing, which is very unusual. In fact, there's a cute story told about the orange and the pear and the apple. They went to God and said, why does this small grape have its own blessing? Why is it the king of all beverages? And after all, we're sweeter. We give more juice. And God said, yeah, but you grow alone. You're all by yourself. You see, the grape grows in a cluster. And that's why God chose it. Not only that, we see grapes, amazing thing. Most things are ravaged by time, but not grapes. Wine, but wine is good. It'll get better as it gets ages. So too people. Hopefully the more we live, the more we grow, the wiser we become. Good illusion. And then the third thing that the blessing is used for is for those 
special things that grow in Israel. Fruits, pomegranates, figs, dates, olives, grapes. So if we have any of these things, we make the special bracha of Alamilchia. It's interesting that the only blessing that we have that is Toretic is really called the Birchat Mazon, the grace after meal. That blessing is Toretic. The verse says in the Torah, V'yachalta v'savata v'yarakta Hashem You eat and be sated, then you shall bless the Lord your God. So God told us that He would appreciate if we thanked Him after we have a meal. But very astutely, you know, sometimes if a person was so wealthy, he owned everything, if he was so successful and so smart, he'd leave something open for his family, for his friends to give him as a present. And so did God. See, the rabbis saw that if God wanted us to bless him for having a meal, to say thank you, why wouldn't he want us to say thank you if we have cake or a fruit or wine or anything? And then they instituted blessings, the after blessing, just like with the grace after meal. And then they thought, if God appreciates the fact that we say thank you, probably would love to hear us say please. And so they made beginning blessings. So what blessings are really about is saying please and thank you to God Almighty. And that's an indication for us to do the same with everyone and anything that we deal with. To say please, and then to remember to say thank you. It's an interesting phenomenon. The more so than not, we do say please because we want something. But once we receive it, do we remember to say thank you? And that's what the blessing's about. Saying thank you. Baruch Atah Hashem Elo Keinu Melech Olam
Again, thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed the song. Again, please subscribe, push like, and share it with your friends. God bless, be well, be safe, be happy, be healthy, and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.